What I'd like to introduce now is a, a, an inventory ordering model called the news vendor problem. And the news vendor problem uh, is very simply a single period ordering model with uncertain demand. So you don't know exactly how much your demand is going to be, but you have to decide before you know what demand is, how much to order. And it's called the news vendor problem because it's based on a newspaper. You order and you have, uh, you can't sell, it's a perishable item that you can't sell in the future. You can't, you know, it's not like a pen as an example. If I don't sell this pen today, I can sell it tomorrow. But if I buy a newspaper today, or if I buy fashion item or something today, it becomes more difficult to sell in the, in, in the future. So this is a way of determining what the optimal order quantity is for a perishable product. So I'm going to do two examples. The first example I'm going to do uses the uniform distribution and the second one will use a normal distribution uh, and just show you a little bit. But conceptually, uh, the first part is the same. So let's go through this. Um, Mike sells Sunday paper. Mike sells Sunday papers outside a retirement home. Not a lot of people actually buy newspapers anymore, but perhaps people in retirement homes do because they're used to traditionally holding something. Paper sell for $2.41 and cost 64. Strange numbers, but they're in my example, right? The residents like Mike. and aren't too worried if he runs out. That relates to the costs of shortages. So if I run out and a resident doesn't get his paper, he doesn't get mad and go order from someone else in the future, it means that I just lose what I would have lost uh, in selling the paper, what I would have gained in selling the paper. That That's the only context I'm adding here. Order too many and he recycles the rest. And that just means that there's no salvage value and and so if I order too many I lose the cost of buying those newspapers. If the newspaper company would buy them back for me I would then uh, have a, a smaller amount of uh, cost of ordering too many. Demand is uniformly distributed between 18 and 38, how many newspapers should Mike order every week? So, in this circumstance, uh, we have something called the critical fractile. And the critical fractile is equal to CS over CS plus CO, where CS is equal to the cost of being short, and CO is the cost of overordering. So in this circumstance, CO is equal to 0 0.64. If I order too many, I lose the 64 cents I pay for the newspaper. 
uh, and uh, I don't have any salvage value so I lose the whole 64 cents. If I'm short, I, I don't lose future business so I essentially lose the margin that I would have gained which is 241 minus 64 is equal to a dollar 77. So if I don't make a sale because I don't have a newspaper I lose a dollar seventy seven I have an opportunity cost I don't actually lose that money but I don't gain that money that I would have gained if I'd have had uh, if I'd have had the product so in this case CS CS plus CO is equal to two forty one over sorry, is equal to 177 over 177 plus 0 0.64 is equal to 0 0.73. So that means we want to be in, in this is uh, like a probability distribution within and because uh, we, we, so we want to be above the mean we want to be at 73, the probability of 73 on the probability distribution. So, to do that, uh, we go back to our uh, uniform distribution, 18 and 38. All, all of these points are equally probable in a uniform distribution. And the range is equal to 20. So we know we will sell a minimum of 18, we will sell a maximum of 30, and anywhere along this 19, 20, 21, all the way up to 38 are equally probable. So in this case we do the range times the critical fractile, which is 20 times 0 0.73 is equal to 14.69 is equal to 15. We round up in this case. Now we add it to the minimum. So 15 is what we add to this minimum because we want to be at that part of the distribution. So we don't just do 15 because then we won't even have enough for our minimum. We add it to the minimum and so we get 18 plus 15 equals 33. So Mike is best off ordering 33 newspapers every week in order to uh, maximize his returns. That doesn't mean he will sell 33 every week. He will sell somewhere between 18 and 38. It doesn't mean 33 is the mean. What it means is we minimize and we don't equalize the times we're over and the times we're under. In fact, we are going to be uh, uh, over more times than we're going to be under, but that reflects the fact that the cost of being uh, under is, uh, is actually higher than the cost of being over. So we, we skew to the, to the side of ordering more. So if CO goes up, so the cost of ordering over ordering goes down, order quantity goes, sorry, cost of over ordering goes up, so if, if my newspaper uh, costs went up to 70 cents, then the order quantity would go down, and if the cost of shortage goes up, and in, in fact, if I can start to sell them for three dollars and my newspapers don't get more expensive, then I would order more. So in this circumstance then uh, we're ordering 33 but we understand what the understanding these dynamics are, are important to. Now we can look at the exact same sort of problem uh, if demand is normally distributed. In fact, we can do it for any type of distribution, but we usually only do it for normal and, 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 and the uniform. So, if 
normally distributed. I apologize for that noise. I've got uh, dogs home and I'm recording. Uh, we'll just close the door and hope that goes away. So in that circumstance, the optimal stocking rate order quantity is equal to expected average demand plus Z times the standard deviation of demand and Z is just the standard normal deviation from the standard normal table. So in this circumstance we would know what demand is equal to uh, a certain expected average demand. So you'd get that number. The standard deviation of demand is equal to 20. So in this case, I'm just putting the specifications. I'm going to put salvage value is equal to zero. The cost is equal to one dollar. And price is equal to two dollars and fifty cents. So in this circumstance, we again use the critical fractile. CS over CS plus CO is equal to 1.5. Right? The shortage, we lose a dollar fifty if we don't sell a paper, if we have demand but we don't sell it, plus one which is the cost, so our critical fractile is 0 0.6. So what we do then is we take that 0 0.6 and we determine Z at 0 0.600. So we just go to the to the standard normal table and we pick it and then our order quantity is equal to 1000 plus 0 0.25 which is Z for 60% times 20 which is the standard deviation is equal to 1,000 plus 5 is equal to 1,005. So in this circumstance we would want to order 1,005 given this expected demand and this standard deviation and these parameters. So again, if the shortage cost goes up in that we could uh, sell that paper for more and cost doesn't change, we would order more. If the uh, overage cost goes up, like if this went up to $1.50, that would go down. Uh, if Z is, or, or if the critical fractile is less than 0.5, Z will actually be negative. You look up the, the table uh, and, and you'd actually subtract from the mean. So if the critical fractile is less than 0.5, you would actually go down in that circumstance and go below 1,000. So you'll be on either side of that mean depending on the relative size of the shortage and overage costs. So that is a quick uh, couple of examples on, on how to do the, uh, the uh, news vendor problem.